So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. It looks like what we really have here is a triangle. All right, so obviously I see a flagpole here, but you know, mathematically, it looks like we're dealing with a triangle. So the question says, the figure shows the mast of a boat that is installed perpendicular to the deck of the boat. The mast is secured by a rope that is anchored to the deck. The rope measures 17 feet long, so we see that. So here's, right, here's our rope. And makes an angle of X degrees with the mast. So here's our X degree angle. The point where the rope is attached to the mast is 15 feet above deck, right? So we see that. What is the value of tan X? So I'm gonna just redraw this triangle, labeling it with the information we have. We know it's a right triangle because it says perpendicular. So this is 15, this is 17, and this is X. The tangent of X, right? So anytime I see tan, I'm gonna think Sokotoa. So the tangent of X is equal to the opposite of that angle over the adjacent side to that angle. So the opposite is this unknown side here, which we'll find in a second. So I'll just call that, this is call that A, side A. And then the adjacent, it would be the 15, right? Because 17, this is always my hypotenuse. Okay, so how do I find missing side A? So again, I'm gonna redraw my right triangle, a little bit smaller, 15, 17, and A. So I could use Pythagorean theorem. I could say, well, 15 squared plus A squared equals 17 squared. I don't have the use of a calculator here, um, because this is section three. So, you know, I probably would still just go ahead and do the math on my own. So 15 squared, I know that that's 225, but you can definitely do it out by hand. So 225 plus A squared equals 17 squared. I don't know that one by heart, so I'm just going to multiply this out. So seven times seven is 49. Seven times one is seven plus four is 11. One times seven is seven. One times one is one. So you get nine, eight, 289. Sounds familiar. And now I can subtract 225 from both sides. And I'm left with A squared equals 464. Right, so 64. I can then square root both sides and A is equal to 8. So this is 8. This is 8. This is 8. Which means my adjacent side is actually 8. So tangent of X is equal to 8 over 15. So the answer to this question, you would bubble in 8 you'd bubble in your divided by bar, you'd double bu bubble in a one and a five to get your eight fifteenths.